Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. equity futures trading the upside. The Dow's up a little over 1%. That's 317 points. The NASDAQ 100 up 8 tenths, 93 points. The S&P's up 9 tenths of a percent. That's 34 points. And the Russell's up 8 tenths, 13 points to the upside. Spot volatility well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That suggests that the S&P 500 should rally. So conditions are ripe for a rally out there. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. You had the uh, Shanghai finish down uh, 56 points. Uh, that that may form a TD9 count bottom by Tuesday. The Hang Seng should have completed a TD9 count uh, this morning. That was off 453 points. Of course, a close below today's low would tell us about a strong momentum move to the downside. Over in Europe, you've got the DAX up 219 points. The FTSE's up 71. That's one and seven tenths and one percent, respectively. Gold is basically flat. It's up two bucks. Silver's not flat. It's up 36 pennies. Let's take a few moments. Go take a look at some of my market update uh, charts out here. And uh, we'll begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. That's in the upper left. The S Mini should go target the top of its daily profile. That's at the 3842 level. The NQ should go target the top of its daily profile at 12037. The Dow wants to target the top of its profile. That's at 31354. Why do I say that? Prices held that red oscillator and change line. And that's the reason. So support is held. Now price should go take on resistance. Uh, High-grade copper yesterday negated a TD9 count bottom. It needs to close back today above $3.21 in order to retain and maintain its weekly buy the D point pattern. If we take a look at the gold contract out here, gold formed to buy the D point, and that remains in effect as long as price closed above 1704.50. Right now we're at 1706. Silver, on the other hand, no bottoming signal there. Well, it's a signal, which the Rhodes Mintum indicator signal has been triggered, but it needs a bullish reversal candle today to get on its merry way. Lights we crude, here we've got the uh, switching over to the September contract. September contract is suggesting that price should go target the 9837 level. If you can get above that, then we're looking at a move to 101.66. Natural gas contract. It's up at really resistance, the top of its profile. If it can clear that, it should continue to move higher. And the 30 year Treasury should target its TD9 count breakdown level at 141.03. You close above that, and you're in the 142 area. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next for the morning market kickoff. Have a fantastic Friday, a fantastic weekend. Join me on Monday at 1 o'clock sharp for the Traders Head Show. Take care.